No, it was, it was great. You know, uh, the injury to my elbow was an extremely humbling experience. You know, you, uh, you realize that um, you can't take anything for granted, not a day of practice and uh, uh, not any of the games especially. And uh, just being able to get back on the field and uh, be with my teammates and because uh, it almost felt like I was just one part of the team. I was, but I wasn't. And uh, having to sit in the stands and, and uh, watch my teammates compete out there, uh, it was tough. So it was, it was great to get back out there. You know, any way that I could get on the field, any way that I could help the team out, uh, whatever role that uh, the coaches, um, you know, wanted of me, um, was fine with me. You know, I'm, uh, I, I like to think I'm a big team player, and uh, whatever helps the Red Raiders win is, is what I want to do. And uh, so it was just, like I said, just great to get back out on the field. Definitely the Baylor series. Um, I know that's uh, that's probably a common answer. A lot of the guys thought that, but uh, first first conference um, series down there in Waco, and uh, coming back from a uh, you know double digit deficit, and uh, coming back and winning, and and then uh, Barrett diving in front of me in left field and making that play probably something that I probably should have caught, but uh, I, I'm I am glad that he caught that ball, uh, and it was fun, and uh, having a, a girlfriend that goes to Baylor that didn't hurt either, so. A little bragging rights there, so that was, that was good. Brennan Stewart, for sure. Um, you know, he's he's a competitor. He throws strikes. He's consistent, and uh, you know, every time he goes out on the mound, he's gonna he's gonna do a good job. He's gonna c compete for the Red Raiders, and uh, it's just one of those things as a position player that uh, you have a lot of confidence in him, and uh, you can kind of. I don't want to say relax out there, but that you know that he's going to throw strikes and he's going to get out. Definitely accountability. Um, they stress accountability is um, you know being there on time, being there for your teammates. Uh, you know, coming early for BP and doing the extra work that'll uh, make you a better player and, and a better person. You know. Uh, we're all student athletes here, and uh, they stress uh, making your grades, going to class, and because uh, uh, for a lot of us, you know, when you're done playing ball in college, you're going to go out into the workforce, and uh, the things that you learn here from the coaches are what's going to, um, you know, help you make strides in uh, your future careers. I absolutely love it here. Um, you know, growing up here and. The fan base and, the, and just how everybody supports Texas Tech and uh, the athletic program and and uh, the people that come out and just and just the love that that you receive from everyone around Lubbock is just it's just awesome. It's second to none. Well, definitely when I, when I first got here, you know, I was just a young, immature freshman, and I feel like that I've uh, I've matured a lot and I've learned a lot, and not just. Uh, as a baseball player, but as a person, and uh, a lot of that is um, goes back to what I was saying about accountability with uh, the coaches at Stress, and uh, it's just I feel like I've grown grown a lot as a man, and uh, my experience here is, is what's going to help me become successful when I'm done playing and when I'm out of school, and and uh, getting a degree from such a great school like Texas Tech is just. That's just awesome. I've had a great opportunity. Nick Hansley, you know, Nick played in a lot of games for us last year, played very good defense, uh, had a big hit for us against Texas, drove in a run, uh, shoot maybe both of them in the Saturday game. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a great, he's a great teammate. Uh, you know, Nick's contributions are we know he can defend, uh, He's got to get – if the, he'll, he'll, the, the, the amount of time he gets to play will depend on how he swings a bat in the fall. And uh, nobody puts in more work or more time. Um, and so we're, we're, we're voting for him. We're rooting for him to get that uh, – to, to become that offensive player, to go with the ability to play defense and run and uh, be the kind of teammate and leader he can be. So uh, this is a big fall for him uh, to just continue to progress offensively. And that's been the thing that's held him back, just that consistent offense. And, uh, you know, like I said, nobody works harder at it. Well, and that's what I'm saying. It's, an, it's a big fall for him. 
because there's some other bodies out there now too. There's more competition in the outfield. So, you know, to get in that top three or four or five guys, he's going to have to have a solid fall, and he, he is capable. Um, but, you know, like I said, we're rooting for him because of the type of kid he is and the kind of athlete he is, and, uh, you know, time will tell.